Alright, uh, love you. All right, Frank. Thank you so much. Allez, Frank. Allez, les bleus. Allez, les bleus. Allez, les bleus. Love you, there. Bonjour. Love you. Ah. Say that. I will. <laughs> Can't say that at the airport. And of course, <laughs> I'm at the wrong terminal. And I'm cutting it close. Typical. <laughs> this is where the fitness pays off. <sighs> and now what's funny is all the uh, accents have changed. So it's, it's gone from Ireland, which is like, oh, so, 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 so. Le pourbu du mode avion ou équivalent doit rester éteint pendant toute la durée du vol. I don't understand any of Today is a good day. I'm on my way to France, to Paris, to see my friend Kev Adams. He's invited me to do some shows in French, a language that I learned the goods of 20 years ago. <laughs> I haven't spoken it really since, you know. I met Kev about three years ago at a place called Flappers Comedy Club in Burbank. And we joked, he said, someday you'll do comedy in French in Paris. And I go, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Now it's happening. Tomorrow, first show, 2,000 or 3,000 seats. I'm warming up. <laughs> I mean, this is, it's funny because it's so big. In terms of like foreign language, stakes, it's his 10 year tour. Biggest star in France. Weird Irish guy doing comedy in language he doesn't really speak. I love this kind of stuff, man. I love it. And I was thinking about like how how did I how did I get here? Like I guess because I learned French in school when I was 12 to 17, and because I met Kev just randomly at a comedy club, and we got on well. And he's a good dude. He's just like. He doesn't have to do this. He's just letting me do it, you know? And also because I guess, you know, you put in the work. And you keep putting in the work. And then look, an opportunity finds you. Huh? 